I started looking for fossils when I was 12 years in uh, Spain, searching, preparing, learning how to prepare that stuff. Then I arrived to Norway. Here, here just I uh, discovered around 2010, 11, slimmer stuff. Decided to come and looking for Paleozoic trilobite. Uh, actually, Slemestad has an amazing geology. Here we have few folders of hook formation, but it's just full of trilobites to complete the whole section. Um, this man in this place, this building, they just give us permission to, to look for trilobites in his place. Here we have the first hard stone of uh, Hook formation, who got the member is a very hard rock, and in just below we can find rich fossil fossiliferous layers full of trilobites, orthoceras, and other things. Here, for example, we have a huge orthoceras. Um, in this other rock, we have a little here is yeah, is a negative of a trilobite, and yeah, this actually all this material will be sent to make roads and stuff. So just we try to rescue much trilobites as possible. How to find trilobites? Quite easy. You just crack rocks, keep going, try looking for what we call cross sections. That is actually when you crack the trilobite inside the rock and you see both part in both sides of the rock and try to save everything to prepare afterwards. Here is the tail of an Augustus piece. Uh, the technique is quite easy, just you just pick a rock and hit by the side, so it's always crack, crack like a book, like uh, completely or, uh, um, horizontal, the rock, so it's easy to see if it's something like that. Yeah, um, just keep going, cracking rocks, try to find things. Oh, here for example is two asafus, one, two. So yeah, I'm going to take care of, of the negative to prepare afterwards. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be beautiful. Just be sure that I keep everything to prepare it. Very nice material. Yeah, I love this place. It's a lot of trilobites we find in here. Once the cross section is in the laboratorium. Here is one uh, from Morocco that is actually easier to see what is a cross section. And then what we do is just pick air hammers and some lasers and try to remove all the rocks from the top and fill a lot. Layer by layer is a very hard work. It takes lots of hours round like depending three of us have things from thirty to 150 hours depending on species and complexity. Um, there's a lot of variety of uh, machines you can use. Yeah, actually all the material that we have been recollecting actually try to make kind of local projects like to make exhibitions and show to the people at least few of the best examples of the pieces you can find try to get some sponsors in the areas and make kind of local museums it's always good it's always fun to get the trilobites back to the people so the people can enjoy beautiful thing <laughs> i hope you enjoy